So? So? <laughs> you convinced? Convinced of what? That you're the only one? Hey. So the lipstick that was on your collar. What lipstick? Let's not play that game. <laughs> no? No. All right. It was so funny, because when Kate showed up, she had the same lipstick on, and I thought, well, that's weird. I thought that was really strange. I mean, I don't really like Kate at all, but I do think that she has, you know, pretty good taste, and that stuff's terrible. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, all the rage these days. Oh. So the girls at Vaughn's uh, wearing the latest lip color, huh? Must have been. Must have been. Yep. So is it common for your employees to nuzzle up to your oh, neck? Oh, here we go. I, th I thought we weren't jealous. I'm not jealous. No. I'm not jealous. No, I yeah. just, um, I just, uh, uh, don't like it. Okay. I gave Sandy the week off with pay. She got happy. Hugged me. End the story. Happy? Yeah. Well, you're a generous employer. I, look, these girls have been through enough, and I would never take advantage of them. I guess I'm kind of giving you the third degree. Guess so. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I would much rather you ask than sit here and worry about it. <laughs> I have to say, for one second, I thought that you were with Kate Howard. <laughs> I mean, I know that's absurd. I mean, my God, you would <laughs> never ever sleep with Kate Howard. That would be gross. Totally yeah. gross. No. <laughs> accusing you. I just, you know, it was for one second. That was it. Oh. All right. Well, you have nothing to worry about because she is not my type. Although, I'd almost do it to see the look on Sonny's face, though. I said almost. Have you ever heard that living well is the best revenge? Yeah, I heard it. I'm just not sure I believe it. Why do you have to concentrate so much on Sonny? Don't give him that much power in your life. Mm. I think you should... Pay attention to <laughs> other things, you know, things that make you happy. <laughs> oh, no, you mentioned it. Um, I gotta go. <laughs> I do. I spent, That's not fair. I spent the whole night that, with you. Uh -huh. And I have to get home to Jocelyn. Mommy time. Like mommy time. How about mommy. daddy time? <laughs> Have fun with that. Yeah. Hey, Johnny. Okay. Nah, nah, it's me. It's Connie. That. Jason, it's Carly. Just a second. Are you okay? I don't want to fight with you. Know, I'm going to have to open the door. Run interference then. That's fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Is this why you didn't open the door? No. Did he tell you not to let no, me in? No, no, no. I hope you're not here expecting Carly, Jason don't to work. Start a fight. He's just recovering from brain surgery. Where, where was all this concern when he woke up and you told him that Robin died? He needed to know. Yeah, eventually. But you didn't have much concern for him at that moment. It went, you know, instead of having him recover, you told him because you want to be the first one Sonny, to tell him. Please, it's, so it's don't tell me not to do business with him because look at him. He's fine. He says he's fine. What he's do you fine. expect him to say? What has he ever turned you down? Did it ever occur to you to go to Max or Bernie? Or hell, did it ever occur to you to do Carl, something okay, for yourself just for stop. a change? Sonny's trial is about to start. We got to figure out who's setting him up. I heard Jason. He's fine. Jason almost died. I come by here to make sure he's okay, and you have a problem with that? Okay, can we just stop and just take a step back and focus on whoever set up Sonny? Don't look at me. Talk to Carly. Talk to Carly? What do you mean, talk to Carly? She's sleeping with the enemy. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had company. Well, that's all right. Uh, Dr. Keenan was just leaving. Who was that? Oh, Kate's shrink. 
Yeah, I mean, I was trying to pretend to be all boring and uptight Kate, you know, wanted to blow my freaking brains out. So you got pretty good timing, you know? Mm, my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, glad to hear it. So uh, what do you say we talk about what we're going to do with Sonny, huh? I get to comment on who I spend my time with. I don't give a damn who you spend your time with. I just don't want him using you against me. No one's using me, Sonny. What about John no McBain? One. I've met that cop a grand total of two times. Yeah. I'm not sleeping with You're him. You're gonna help him come after me? Come on, Carly's not gonna give you up to some cop she barely oh, knows. Oh, but I did I did find them in Kate's office together. Oh, John no. McBain and Carly. Don't you make it sound like I invited him in. He just showed up on his own. John is making the rounds, going, you know, telling everybody that I'm guilty. Is it working with you? I don't give a damn what some out-of-town cop thinks, Sonny. I'm not talking about a cop. Jason knows I'm innocent. Do you? You're capable of shooting out Anthony Zakar's tires and covering it up? Absolutely. Do I think that you could take the life of a child even by accident and cover that up? Before last summer, I would have said, no way, impossible. But after everything that happened with Jax and then you shooting off a gun in Robin's house, I don't even know you anymore, Sonny. You think that I can't fix what's broken? I want to believe that you're innocent. I just can't. I just can't trust that you are. Okay, so if you don't want to give me any credit for having any honor left at all, can you at least give me credit for being smart? And getting rid of that gun, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave the gun. He just—he knows in Kate's office. I was framed. Okay. Okay, fine. But it wasn't Johnny. Of course, you say it wasn't Johnny because you trust him with all your heart. If Johnny right? planted the gun, that means he caused the accident. That means he tried to kill his dad, and I know he didn't do it. Like I said, sleeping with the enemy.